Lord, as it is recorded in Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all gentleness and humility, with patience, bearing, bearing with one another in love, eager, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. But grace was given to each one of us, according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, When he ascended, he led a host of captives, and gave gifts to men. And he gave the apostles, the, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers, to equip the saints for the works of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Rather speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up into every way into him who is head, into Christ. For building up the body of Christ, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. The, the word, word of the Lord. Lord. 